if you're not speaking, put your microphone on mute. We're happy. Oh, it says you can't hear a word. Someone said they can't hear a word. So can anyone hear me? I can hear yes. you. Okay. Yeah, great. we can all hear you. So if you're not speaking, put it on mute just for the sake of background noise. But we would love to hear if you have something to say and add in or friendly like that. So to start off, I am, let me just, let me get the first slide up and ready to share. Okay. Was um, that? you made a PowerPoint girlfriend? Mm -hmm. She did. No, no, so. Okay. So to start off, let's just do a brief introduction really quick. I am Liat. I love pens. If you can't see behind me, I love pens. I love any art. Love I could open all my drawers for you and show you that I have every kind of rhinestone. I have every kind of sticky note. I have every type of anything you could ever need. I have two hole punchers, two tape dispensers because I think it's a little bit of an issue. No offense, Galaxy S8. I'm putting you on mute. Okay. So, I started when I was studying for the test because I have severe ADHD and ADD and I knew I wanted to pass this test. And when you take the class, you'll hear what issues I had in the background that was my motivation as to why I'm like, I have to pass this test. I do not care. Um, I have lots of beautiful journals and I didn't want to be on Instagram. So I decided to make an Instagram account called Study Notes ABA where I could just look at my pretty notes right? Trying to find kind of more appropriate replacement behavior. That started, people started following. I decided to teach a free full collective cycle of um, 10 weeks, twice a week. And that's when I met Jen. Jen is in the yellow shirt. Jen, say hi. Hi. That's Jen. She came to my free classes and we started study notes ABA and it became, <coughs> when she passed her test, she's like, let's do this for real. So we start teaching. She'd write the content. It was in it. Then we had more collectives go by. People were passing with our methods and we're like, we like this. Then Casey came along. Casey's the cute one who looks like Meg Ryan. I don't know where in her range is. <laughs> she hates that I call her Meg Ryan. Yeah, super aversive. Thank you. Oh, um, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Um, I just had to say it just to be annoying. <laughs> and she came to our class. She really stuck to the protocol of teaching. She passed the exam the first time. I would like to say a part of it is being in our class. She also was just on her shit, but mm -hmm. and no, I would say that like you guys helped me organize. Like, yeah, I had all my shit right, but like I didn't know where to start. And when I joined your collective, like you organized my studying and made me accountable for everything that I had to do, and that was how I passed. Honestly, I mean, am I recording? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just freaked out. I don't want to have to introduce myself again. All right. What number are we at? Just out of interest. 201. Oh my God. Okay. We're, we're doing cool things. So anyways, a huge thing we see, I tutor people privately. We teach the classes. And a huge thing we see is that people are very afraid of their Cooper book. Does anyone else relate to that? You could say yes. You could say I'm petrified. It's so hard to read. Yes. Yes. Okay. I see the chat. I can't read what it's saying, but I'm sure Jen will tell me what people are saying. Yes. 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 Okay. So this class is called how the F to navigate, read, and get the most out of your Cooper book. And by the way, I didn't introduce you to Pavlov. He is the newest member of study notes ABA. He has only known ABA since his birth. Uh. So he is constantly being trained. Right. Okay. Anyways, he's going to bark. So I'm actually doing this to avoid that behavior. So I'm reinforcing him for attention. I know. So anyways, so with the Cooper book, let's get started. By step number one, before I even start, want to pass the test? You have to read the Cooper books. No if, ands, or buts. The test is written all off of this book. This book is your Bible. Okay, literally, there's other, yes, there's other books out there that talk about behavior, they're great, there's other uh, workbooks, whatever it is, but this book 
There's no way around it. Okay, this is your Bible. Now, people say, but this book is so big and intimidating. Okay, now it's not the poem for that, honey. I don't know why it's drawing on the screen everywhere. Um, maybe I could take that off, whatever, okay. So now we are gonna talk about steps to make your super book user friendly. Now I saw some people posting earlier that their book is a PDF version. Based on our methods, I would highly, 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 as in say yes, would tell you to get the real book. Okay, because we once some of the methods we're about to go about, you'll see it would be very difficult to do on a PDF version. So steps to make your book user friendly, also less aversive. Number one, put tabs labeling each chapter in your book and what the chapter is about. It will make your life so much easier. Here in the bottom here, you can see chaining, chapter 20. I could turn to it. That way, if I come across a question on something, I could easily access where in the book it is. It is very aversive to have to go and seems like a lot of response effort to have to go look every time. This way you are setting yourself up for success. Um, someone like Julia or Jen, um, yeah. if there's something important in the chat that I'm missing, I just can't see the full screen if it's up, just let me know. Okay. okay. Um, next. Learn about the Cooper Companion website. It is your friend. Cooper Companion. Now, what you want to do right now while you're on this Zoom with me, I will not be offended if you look away for a second and type in Google, type in Cooper, um, Cooper ABA Companion website in the Google search bar. And you will get to a screen that looks like this. It's through Pearson. Bookmark that shit in your computer. If you see along here, there is a Cooper quiz and summary on every single chapter. Now, trust me, I was the kid in high school who always would buy Cliff Notes. I am not saying that this is your Cliff Notes for reading the book at all. This book has a shit ton of examples in it for you to learn from. So if you study one concept like backwards chaining, it will then give you examples in here. Use this to give you real life application, okay? So at this point, I'm hoping that you have bookmarked this. Know this website, it is your friend. There's quizzes on each different chapter topic, like with 10 to 20 questions. Next, mark the F out of your book. Would you rather read a book that looks like this? Like a newspaper. Like a newspaper? Or would you more likely read a book that looks pretty? Okay, the pretty one, right? Mark the hell out of it. Use different kind of post-its. Use different kind of pens use different kind of everything now if you're in the collective with us we will emphasize the importance on getting yourself some good pens now get yourself some pens that cost more money than you usually would spend on them okay so this pack of pens right here probably was about 70 dollars for all of these jelly rollers was it worth it hell yeah i passed my test with them now am i saying the pen itself no, but you want to pair studying something that's typically aversive with something reinforcing. So whether you're artsy or not, as you can see, I like craft supplies behind me. Do this, okay? Also, when you see something in one font in one color, it helps you remember it. So do this in your book. Don't be afraid about the resale value of your book, okay? When you become a BCBA, hopefully you'll be making enough money then that you could afford the cost of the 160 of the book that you had to get. I know at the time right now it sucked having to put all this money out to pass, but it is totally worth the initial upfront investment. So mark the F out of your book. Someone asked what type of pens you like, and 
I mean, I'm sure you're I happy to share the specific brand. I, um, love you. I love jelly rollers, but we've made that easy for you also. Please hold. We have put together the most badass packs called Pretty Packs that you could get on our website. It has all of my favorite pens in it. It has midliners, a full set of thick first thin side. It has my favorite Muji pens, a full pack of 12. It has cute post-its, paper clips, other paper clips in case you need some differentiation, some post-its, a detailed list of your study list for the day, a ruler, because obviously when you're making graphics, you like the crooked line. Lots of stickers to make it look cuter. Hashtag throwback lipstick eraser. <laughs> and a good, um, cute um, pencil. The only caveat is this is only available for shipping in the US. Sorry. For now. It's just also like, to keep it the price that we're able to keep it, it's just like, it's really expensive for, it's like half the price of the actual packet. I, I believe this is, how much is it, Jen? Online right now? Yeah. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, I think. Correctly. Yeah. Which is <clears throat> the lowest we could possibly keep it. So that's the shit you need. That you have it all in one place if you would like that shipped to you. Okay. So but if you have a particular pen that you really like, you don't need that. Use the pen that you like in your yeah, moment. Yeah, you don't have to use our pens, by the way. You don't have to use our pens at all. But I would tell you, get some midliner highlighters. Those pens are good. I would say use whatever you can. Use, a lot of people love these ones. The Papermate Ink Joy, another favorite, fan favorite for sure. Um, yeah, so just make it that you're not bored. You're gonna be reading a book that's black and white and it could be boring as hell. So mark that shit up, seriously. Is anyone on their phone right now ordering stuff on Amazon? Did we talk you into it at all? Anyone? Um, okay. No, we don't get paid when people order those supplies. We're just nice. Also, number four, locate your table of contents. But seriously, your table of contents, and I think this is what Jen wanted to talk about, if I'm right. Mm hmm Your table of contents is like your roadmap for the book. Um, I should grab mine. I don't have it right now, but it'll show you like, it'll give you, layout. yes, it'll give you a layout of the way that each specific chapter, the contents of it, what you can expect from it, whether it's positive reinforcement or negative reinforcement, but it also breaks down the book into sections. So like section one is a lot of the basic information. Section two gets more into the different types of reinforcement. Um, it, it's, it honestly, it's your Google Maps for how to use your book. Right. And it's also written real, very like intuitively. Can I say intuitively? Okay. Yes, that's the word. Um, because like you'll need chapter one to understand chapter 10, right? You'll need chapter two to understand. So it goes in a very good order now. So locate your table of context. Next, your index. And these little markings on the screen are pissing me off, but I feel like if I try to start erasing them, it's going to... Just leave them. Yeah. Okay. Index. That shit is golden. Literally. Because if you have one specific type of word that you don't know even which section it would fall under in your table of contents, use your index. Oh my gosh. I want to look up... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, see, I even marked my index, by the way. Task analysis. Yeah, okay, I wanna look up task analysis. Okay, that would be on page Q-R-S-T. I always have to do that. Task analysis, page 437 through 438, 440 through 441, page 450. You would be surprised how many messages we get from people asking what page different topics are on. And we're like, we own the exact same book as you. Believe it or not, we don't memorize it. We don't. Look it up. All right. Next, 
Take notes on what you read. Train yourself to take down the hashtag keywords in the definition. Do not write out long ass definitions that you're never gonna remember anyways. Now, don't wanna to toot our own horn about the collective, but I'm going to right now. That is literally exactly what it is. You will be coming to the collective, if you join the collective, you don't have to, but just so you know, because we don't necessarily always tell, like reach out and explain so well what it is. Kind of students tell each other, but you will come to a class. Today's topic is going to be on reinforcement. You come with your notebook and whatever pens you like to use, and we will tell you how to guide your notes, what they should say. Okay, we're talking about negative reinforcement, hashtag relief, hashtag escape, hashtag avoidance, so that whenever you see any of these key words in a question, you associate them all together. This wins any time over those long ass definitions that you will never remember, ever. Your brain Someone was get so much. asking about other books, and I think we have a slide towards the end about like other um, companion materials, right? Um, I just want to quickly say that like the hashtag for me, I'm a long-winded cancer who like needs to know everything and write everything down. And the best way I learned was through these guys, like giving me the hashtags. When I was in the exam, I would, I'd be like, hashtag this, hashtag that. Like I didn't need to remember the definitions as long as I knew the hashtags. I was like, okay, I got it. I didn't that. realize you were a cancer. I wouldn't have pegged you. Me too. Are you, wait, what are you? It's July 18th. Are you a cancer too? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a Leo. We are a Leo. Leo. So You're close, Leo you guys. Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm I not a cancer like you. typically. I think I'm like an untypical cancer. Okay. Fair enough. Listen. Okay. Oh, Danielle's yeah. birthday is the 19th. Danielle makes sense to me as a cancer. She has that like the loving, empathetic beauty care. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Anyways, listen, I love chatting with y'all. Yeah, uh, sorry to get you off track. Back to the serious. I'm stuff. usually the one getting off track. I know. But, so I'm focused tonight. <clears throat> I don't want to scare them away yet. Okay, so take beautiful notes. I have notes that I love looking at. Like even now, I'm done testing and I still love looking at my notes, okay? Take beautiful notes. And we will literally teach you how to take notes in the class. I know you got through college and you got through grad school, but this test is a different level. And people don't understand the respect they should have for someone who takes this test, studies their ass off, loses their social life, and passes. And we are there with you every second of the way from class one titled, okay, I signed up for the test, now where the hell do I start? And we will break down the reading for you with whatever topic we're doing. So we will go over reinforcement, we will go over with the hashtags, break it all down for you, give you real life examples, um, perverted ways to remember it, ways that you will remember it. I can guarantee you that they're not all perverted, just sometimes my mind goes there. Um, you won't be bored. It will be like the comedy show that I've always wanted to have. So that will be part of the class and we will help you take your notes. It will also break up your reading for you. You're not gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna try to read three chapters right now and you know, literally sit there crying. It will be like only part of the chapter as to what we did. Because the class is 20 classes long. So next. Guys, can I ask something real quick? Just like as an opinion thing? Sure. Um, so the hashtags do work like 100%. I've done walks recently and like, thank God for the hashtags. I find though, I'm one of those people where I get nervous if I, wor I worry that I'm going to like forget to write something down from Cooper because it is like the Bible. So I find even though I'm using the hashtags, my notes are still a little bit like too long sometimes. Like I I'll incorporate the hashtags into my notes, but I still find I'm writing a lot like str straight from Cooper as I'm like going through the textbook. And I don't know if I need to like shorten it more, if I just need to like write what you guys have in the collective notes because I've been comparing like the collective notes to what I did before I fused them together and I find sometimes it's still like so, a lot. Once you start taking the collective long enough, like when we have people in our class who have been there for a while, so they Julia has done the video package. So that wait, we got listen to me for a second. Julia's done the video package, so that's why she's pausing, rewinding and taking notes that way. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So Julia, what I was going to say is if your notes are longer, that's okay. Write down as much as you think you need. This mm -hmm. is one of the probably most important things in your life where it's better to be over prepared than under. Yeah. So I'm just worried because like I know you guys are very into like a short as possible type of thing so that it's like easier to compact in your brain but I find I'm one of those people where it's like I'll read a section in Cooper and I'm like oh my god that's important and that's important and then I end up yeah, finding the hashtags you know and I never do? more than I thought. The more you do it you we teach you to pull out your own hashtags so you still could write yeah. an example it could be like negative reinforcement um, the, the hashtag removal of a stimulus to hashtag increase your frequency of a behavior. You know, like you're still writing the definition, but you're pulling out the hashtags in it. Right. Yeah. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Like I, I agree with. Hi, that. Michael. <laughs> okay, we have to mute someone. I don't know who. I can't see who's talking, but if someone with all of them mute it. <laughs> someone has a boy over named Michael. Okay. Ooh, a boy. We're both <laughs> K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Okay, next. Um, eight, join our collectives. That is something you can do. You do not have to, but we'll keep you accountable. The reading will be broken up for you so you know what to read when. A huge issue that I think a lot of people have is like, okay, well, like, I tried reading 37 chapters today, even though there's not 37 chapters, but, you know how many chapters are in the book. Um, your book will supplement the classes. You could then use the book. When you're using the book to supplement what you already know, it's a lot better than trying to learn straight from it. So um, if we're talking about something in the class, you could look at the book for more examples. The book is filled with examples. Sometimes I agree it's hard learning something like acquisition skills from a book. But if you're in a class, you're going over it, then the book is just, there to help you gain understanding it will not feel as painful to read it will not be as aversive i promise you it's like oh this is now i really understand this because it's like i'm just reviewing mm -hmm. because i went over it in class mm -hmm. all right number nine track your data we have a free resource jen will put it in the chat i just put it in it's starting to get pushed down a little bit but i'll do it again hold on this is not very cutely made, but mark that up. That's mine when I was studying. I marked if I had read a chapter, if I had read the summary in the back of the chapter, and my scores that I had got on the practice test. I would do them till I got 100. Now, sometimes if I had read the chapter about um, stimulus control, I might, after reading it, I might go take a quiz on reversal designs just to change it up to see that you know, it's nice to move around. I agree, it's boring when you're doing one thing for a very long time. And trust me when I tell you, you are not alone. I have, I am medicated right now, but I have a very severe case of ADD, ADHD, like both. And I, I'm telling you, this method works. If you are someone who is not just like a textbook person who could read and read and read, this is the method you should use. I'm saying this whole like coloring, making it bright, using redundancy, stimulus prompt, whatever it is. Number 10, pick and stick. Um, I could speak personally to this, that you feel good when you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna, like when I started studying, I was like, I'm gonna print out every single Quizlet out there that has all the words and I'm gonna print, I'm gonna make every single flashcard. I'm gonna do SAPMES, I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to follow this. I'm going to study this study group online. Be careful. The more that we have been doing this group, the more we have seen how careful you have to be where you are getting your resources from. I have seen countless examples that people are getting from other study groups. I'm not like saying names about any specific. I mean, it's easy for anyone to make an error. It's difficult to write the questions. But if you are studying from something that is not accurate, you are then going to generalize whatever rule you learn from an incorrect question to other questions. It's not worth it. Pick and stick whichever method you are going to do. Like, 
for me to actually get started in my studying when I started, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it all in flashcards. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to do it all in Quizlets. Okay. I'm going to do it all in whatever workbook. So, and I probably went through, you know, the foundations, like seven dimensions in 20 different study methods. Now I know them really well. Ask me. But it's a total waste of time. So pick and stick. You could still keep things new and fresh, even by using one method. Now, that is the last of the advice I can give you for Cooper. We wanted to keep it short. Do you need an ethics book? Hell yeah, you do. Get an ethics book. Order it online. No way around it. This is your ethics Bible for the test. Do that same thing, mark it up, take cute notes. Now we are here as we will be the people teaching the class. So you can speak up now and ask any questions that you um, have for us. We're happy to answer. I have a question. Yep, what up? Um, I signed up for the August collective. And I saw a video you guys did on YouTube, and I am not speaking this into existence because I know I'm going to pass. But if for whatever reason I do not pass, um, I um, on your video it says that once you pay for the class, if you don't pass, we could come back to the uh, collective until we pass. Is that true still, or has it changed? That is true. You could you could come. It, Jen, do you know what we decided? It is true. You can sit a second time. You could sit in it a second time, but you will not get any recordings because we want you to come. I don't know where. Hold on. Like the radio, maybe. Yeah. So you could come a second time for free. Um, and you can. Um, sorry, what was I gonna say? But you will not get the recordings because we for want that. you to be for that section. It's our way of trying to hold you accountable. If you can make yourself show up and do the work, that's half the battle. Absolutely. So Okay, thank you. Yeah, totally. So if you do not pass, also you could sign up to um two cycles before you're actually take it. Like so, I think um Divian Divya, sorry, maybe I'm saying it wrong, is in here, and she's in the group right now, and she's sitting, she's sitting through, uh, through May, just to be, like, ahead of the game, um, early bird, which I love, but she's not actually testing till August for her BCABA, so she's going to sit through the August cycle again, and then um, to be determined what she does for her BCBA next year. Yes. So, Jen, do we, I, I believe, do, did we decide, can it be two cycles ahead that they sit in it or three? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. You could sit in it too early. So if you're, yeah. So if you're testing in August, you could sit in the May Collective. Also, if you're testing in November, I would sign up now. You get to go through it twice for the price of one. And still, if you don't pass, God forbid, and we want you to pass, we want to have extra room for other students in our class so that we could benefit off that but we're so committed that we invite you back with open arms. We're not done with you when, if you don't have God forbid. Now There's someone people asked- people that have asked like, is it too early to start now? No, this test is like, there is literally no such thing as too early. Yes. Especially like if you feel that your program or your coursework didn't necessarily prepare you as well as it should have. And honestly, my advice right now is like, if you're not sure how far in advance you should start studying, go to one of the big Facebook groups and download a free mock. Work through like, don't even do the whole thing. Work through 10 questions and, do, and see how you feel. If you feel like, what the hell was that? I haven't heard any of this terminology. That's a red flag. It's time to start studying now. Yes, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> If you, I mean, and also, if you feel ill-prepared because of your supervision, 
reach out to us. We are beginning to offer supervision if you need supervision. Um, it's not started yet, but reach out to us depending on when you're testing or like, working on it. Like yeah. if you're an RBT right now, accruing hours, it may be in your in your best interest to reach out. Um, so someone said. Um, so if anyone wants to write some of the names of the big Facebook groups, we're not going to say uh. them loud, um, unfortunately. Um, okay. The big Facebook group is Study Notes ABA. Look it up. <laughs> it's one word. It's no spaces. Um, next, how long are the classes in the collective? It is 10 weeks. We meet twice a week. It is on... There's a Monday and Wednesday group that meets seven central standard time. Do the math for your own time zone. So if you're East Coast, New York, Florida, anywhere in between, that's 8 p.m. If you're in California or located in that Earlier state, than 7 p.m. So keep that. 5 p.m. So if <clears throat> you are in Colorado or Mountain Time, it is at 6 p.m. Now, do we recommend coming live? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't and your time zone does not work out, you will literally get the exact same class with the practice questions in it and everything in the video bundle. Okay? In the video bundle, you will get the exact same thing. You do that. Like Julia said in the chat here, um, you could do what she did. And I missed where it went. I started like way, way, way early. And it's been so helpful that I got to like sit there and do it on my own time and my own pace. Cause then I can also like pop back into the lives closer to, to hopefully November. Right. And do it again. You right? video bundle, it also gives you access to the live. Yeah. Um, so classes anywhere from, we like to say 60 to 90 minutes. Recently we've been running pretty much always 90 minutes. I would say, Sessions 1 through 15, which are like the crucial topics, are, are going to be longer. Um, the sessions that Liat and I have hosted the last week, um, they have been closer to 60 minutes. But it's, it, things are winding down. We're on, like last night, was set, last night was 18. We have 19 and 20 to go. So Yes, and every class, just so you know what it consists of, it consists of, you will get a study tip of the day. I don't, someone's asking for the link for this thing. You could just scroll up in the chat. Jeez. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Um, I am, I've finished with my classes in December, so I'm thinking I'm taking the February test. So August collective is when I should take it. Right? August or November. Oh, oh August or November. Mm hmm Yeah. If I do it in August, then I'll be able to do it twice. Well, no. Even if you did November, you could do it twice because you would – so, like, the November, November collective will start um, – I don't have the exact dates yet, but it'll likely start mid-September, run exactly. through the end of November, and then the February cycle for 2020 will start – um, early December because we'll take off some time for December holiday and New Year Perfect. and that'll okay. end the end of February. Perfect. Okay. Got it. Thank you. So Crystal had a question about like what happens if you miss a class. Part of the collective is, so the collective's 20 sessions. We get it. It's hard. We're all busy. It's hard to attend every single class. So we have a little bit of like a leeway built in where, um, if you need a recording, you can request up to five videos included in the price to cover things like, I had a scheduling conflict, life happened, I fell asleep. Um, I would suggest using them. I would suggest using them more so as a safety blanket for missing a session. I would suggest making yourself accountable and in uh, attending and using those five that you get as review for topics that are hard for you. So if you're someone that can make it to all 20 sessions, you're still entitled to those five videos, but you can use them to, to say like, I hate IOA. I really want to, even though I attended the IOA session, I want to watch it again 
and work through it on my own. Um, so that's how I recommend using it. She has a question, but I can't hear. She said, how much is a single video if you use all your five videos? $20. Um, and Jay, Jess, no, you pay once. If I take it twice, does it have to be back to back or can we do November collective and then May collective, for example? You can, we're pretty, I, I feel like we're accommodating with that. I'm not sure that anyone's asked that specific question yet or we've had it occur, but it's, we're not trying just to grab your money. Like we want you to pass. We believe we have a way that works. And so you have to be willing to do the work too. You, you have to be willing to do the work. You gotta open your own Cooper book. You gotta be willing to take the notes when you come to class with us. We will be the best personal trainer you ever had, but you have to do your work too. We can't read your book for you. Um, someone said, oh, awesome. I wanted to do the next one again. It was, it's helped so much. Please come back. We'd love to have you. You did this one, you got to do the next one too. Someone said, would the quality of the video be better than tonight? I can't promise you anything. Is it crappy? Has it been coming out? Has, has it been cutting out? <laughs> and I, I don't think so. I feel like it's been good. It's been pretty good. No, it's not cutting out at all. Okay, so this will be the quality. Um, next. Uh, do you have a list of the top 10 tips you mentioned in the meeting for Reading Cooper? It will be up on YouTube. Any tips for me if I just finished my first year of grad school? Yes. Start getting familiar with your book now. Don't just use it for the, don't just use it for those one assignments where it's like, okay, let me just look up the page to reference and then turn it in. Um, get familiar with it now. If you would like to join the collective, it's a great way for you to be ready for when you test because I know a lot of people like myself, I was like, as soon as I finish my coursework and like my hours <laughs> at the same time, I want to test when it's fresh. Um, not at other plans for me. So I had to wait a year as I was hospitalized for a long time, but you'll hear that story in the collective. I'll save your breath or my breath. Don't want to bore her. Or anyone who's Someone asked when the August collective starts. Uh, it's depending on whether you attend Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursdays. It starts the week of June 11th. I believe that's the Tuesday, so the the tenth would be the Monday. You can join um, on the website. It's studynotesaba.com. You're gonna go to the shop, and it says collective. It's three hundred dollars. Um, someone said, "Do we have a pass rate?" So we have been working on a pass rate. Now, let me tell you, there's been some extraneous variables that we are trying to make, as we talk about in all our studies, we want to be able to control the extraneous variables. It, first of all, we wanted a large enough sample size. And second of all, we wanted to be able to see if it's actually due to us or people have done other study prep. So we are working very hard to see how much we can control the extraneous variables. I want, to, I want to tell you that what we've seen our pass rate is good. For people that are committed and sit but through the whole program. For people that are committed and take the notes, it's an amazing pass rate. We see it all the time. It's great. It works. People are like, these hashtags and these pens and all this was it. The people who take it with us, believe it or not, they're like, I still want to come around to the classes even when I passed. And I'm not making that up. And I'm like, let's see if your MO is still there once you actually <laughs> right? But you have to do your part and we do not have the exact pass rate yet. I want to, we're trying to do something to take out, to look at certain people who have not used any other resources to study. Um, someone asked about the change in the task list. So once the task list does actually change, I'm not sure that it's actually going into effect in November. I will have to look at the board. Just like Cooper is the Bible for figuring out what you need to know for the test. The board's website is the Bible for um, us and our study. Content. Like we've ordered the new Cooper book, but we're only going to use it starting 2022. So we got to start writing our content now. Okay. Does that answer your question? A bias, bias? I think the exam only changes like January 1st 
2022 or something. Exactly. So you're still good for like another year yeah. and a half or whatever. So that's with the fourth why edition. I had brought up the fact that it's not yeah. necessarily November. Um, and that's another thing that Liat brought up is there's a lot of hearsay out there. The best thing you can do is be a detective and go to the board's website and figure it out for yourself. Like, don't let someone else influence your decision because it's your life. That could also goes clinically. Go to your supervisor. A lot of people come bring clinical stuff to us, and I can't see everything in terms of functions of behavior and stuff. Use your supervisor. Use your resources you have. Okay. Next. Did I hear you correctly? We purchased a video bundle ahead of time. We also have access to the live collection. Yes. Yeah. Um, Jen, do you want to do like just a brief screenshot of like what the hit the books looks like? So, I texted you a few minutes ago. My computer is like super malfunctioning. Hold on. I, so someone, I'm, I'm still answering questions. Someone said, I'm hoping to sit in February. If I sign up for the November collective, could I sit for the February one too for the same price? Yes. How much are the classes? It's $300. If you do the math, you're paying about $6 and 33 cents an hour. Beat that. Um, That's the same price as your Starbucks. What are the notes that people say they compare? What are the notes that people say they compare theirs to? Um, I don't really understand the question, I think. Like the, the notes that we write down in the class. Oh, I think Julia might have been talking about that she takes her. Oh like, yeah, sorry guys, I probably trip people up. I was just saying that I take my own notes from Cooper, but then I like fuse them together with uh, the collective hashtags. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so once you sign up, you get a welcome packet email. It's just like a quick kind of rundown of how to use Zoom. Um, you obviously already know if you're on tonight. Um, it has a few of the links that we've already shared, like the Cooper quizzes, and then there's a zip file that has the outline and your dates for when classes meet, a document that has the passwords for each class, a few more um, just like uh, preparatory study docs, so things like that task list um, where the page numbers are added to each item, um, and then an additional like tracker for how you're doing on the Cooper quizzes. And I have a question. Yeah, sure. Um, do we need to buy the new Cooper book or can we still use the other? No. You do not need to buy it unless you're testing after 2022. Okay, thank you. Save that money. We just had to buy it because please God, we're still around teaching then. <clears throat> we're in this for the long haul to help lots of VCBAs get out there. So we had to get it. Um, let's see. Okay, so just to restate one more time, Karina asked, um, if you buy the video bundle, can I still sit in all 20 classes plus the videos? Yes, but I want to be clear, that's the video bundle package that's 400, not the video six pack. The video six pack is like a, almost like a, dip your toe in shallow and kind of like, let me try out some of these videos before committing to the full thing. If you do the video six pack, it's, it's what it sounds like. It's a six pack. It's only six videos, not 20. This one said, which collective should I join if I plan to test in November? You should join this one, August. Um, how can I change the email for notifications with the collective? What? I, what notifications? Did you sign up with a different email than you want to use? Yes. Um, I, I did it through PayPal and it's a different email that I regularly use because I just saw that you guys have that welcome packet and I was like, I didn't get that. But I went on to my Comcast email instead of my Gmail. Um, so how can I change with you guys? Like, do they send notification emails? Oh, so send an email to contact at studynotesaba.com. Okay. Uh, take a screenshot that you, like, that you paid. Okay. And we'll, we'll add that in as your name on the roster. Okay. So, so if we're testing in February next year, when do we need to sign up for two? Depending on how much preparatory time you think you need, I would say sit through November and sit through February. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, how would you suggest someone taking their exam again in a week? review 
That's like a tough question. Next week. Have you been studying up to this point? Answer that question and I can tell you, um, Crystal, girl, we got you. We've had people with international books before. We have an entire sheet that we send out to people who need the translation from our pages to the Cooper. So we'll send that for you if you become a collective member. Should you finish the coursework before taking the collective? No, it aligns really well with your coursework. If you already purchased the collective and want the big video bundle, we'll be able to upgrade to that. Yes, but it takes some work on our back end because then we have to send you a purchase order for the other $100. Yeah, so send an email about it and we'll set it up. Can attend August collective with a heavy course load in the summer. I plan to sit in November. Good idea. So you could just take, I mean, a lot of people take it just that cycle, like, you know, their cycle, the 10 weeks before the test. Do we think it's better to study earlier than that? Hell yeah. Jen, what part of North Carolina? I'm in Charlotte. She's in Raleigh. No, I like yeah, it. Right. It's uh, also a very specific question. Like, I've never been asked if I grew up on the East Coast. How did you know? Don't I know where East Coast ish? The email comes from contact at studynotesaba.com. So if you didn't get your thing, send an email. And by the way, everything's hand done. So if you did it like this second, give, give a little bit of time to get the, um, <coughs> so just to clarify, the November collective starts June 10th. No, that's August, but are you testing in November? February. No, I want to test in February. I want to test in February of 2020. Mm -hmm. So the November collective, and we, we call the collectives by the month that people test in. So there's November right. collective, there's February, May, and August. The November okay. collective, we don't have the official start date yet, but it'll likely start mid-September. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Sure. Someone said, um, uh, I have very sloppy handwriting. Are your notes doomed to be aversive? No, we have people in our class who type up notes, but we still are giving you shorthand ways to remember things. You don't have to have the best handwriting in the world. You still, I would recommend using different colors just to make things stick out. There are all these, articles and with the Harvard Business Review about the beauty of having um, handwritten items. It's like you are personally attached to it. Some clinics even are into handwritten data. Like you feel the changes. There's something to be said. Do y'all recommend doing PBS with the collective? Is it too much? No. Do it. Any extra questions to practice? We're not against anything else along those lines. ABA Wizard, we um, we love the guy who makes that app. It's $10 and you get a ton of practice questions. Do as many practice questions as you can. A lot of people like pairing BDS or ABA Wizard with our class. We teach a topic on something, then people um, will go answer the questions after and they'll say, wow, I really could answer those questions after tonight's class. Um, um, we have about five to ten more minutes, so I just oh, want I'm sorry, I just didn't ask you because I know it's already been asked, but um, so I'm testing February 2020, but I want to sign up for the August Collective, is that right? Mm-hmm. But I thought you just said that I'll, oh. I'll, it's called by the month that I'm going to be testing in, so I'm confused. Oh, so it's, you want to, you want to start already to sign up now for? I'm testing February 2020, so. But I would like to sign up one cycle early so that I don't. Okay. So you want to you sign up in November. You want to sit in the November cycle, and then you'll also be able to sit in the February cycle. And the November cycle will start in September. Okay. Does that make, it starts 10 weeks before the actual month it is. 
I'm on your website. It says study collective membership. You want to access is August 2019 collective. Is that correct? So that the November isn't the only thing that's available for purchase right now is August. So I don't want to purchase that. No, unless you're wanting to like start studying now. No, I don't. I don't want to even start until. Yeah. So do you follow us on social media? Okay, we'll post as soon as November sign up is open. It's open. I'm glad I asked that then because I thought that I was signing up. Yeah, no, no, no. So don't don't spend okay. any money yet. Thank Wait till we um have it up. Um which the one? Instagram is the same as the company name. It's study notes ABA, all one word. Um Um, there will be anywhere from about a hundred, from about fifty to a hundred people in the class. It depends on how many people are um, sitting a second time. But um, we have multiple BCBAs leading the class, so there'll always be at least there'll be anywhere from two to three of us in a room. Liat leading, and then the rest of us kind of handling the chat. AC will be teaching the Monday Wednesday class. I'll be teaching. Jen and I will be teaching Tuesday, Thursday. Um, any other questions? That's Katie, that's or Kate, that's it. Your book, paper, pencil, there's nothing else in particular that you need. Do the classes count as unrestricted hours? I've never had that question before. Um, it would be great if they did, but I do not believe so. I do not believe so because we're also not your supervisors. I don't think you can count studying for the exam as unrestricted, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish you could. Thank you, girlfriend. I wish you could. I really do. Guys, I'm teaching Monday, Wednesday. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Casey is going to kill it. Like, and I'm yeah. Casey's helper is also named Casey, but mm -hmm. we call her Cassie because it's as a K. <laughs> and she's like a really amazing uh she down to earth seven times. Yep. So you get someone's um perspective of taking it one time, me, <clears throat> that I did. Seven times Casey, the other Casey, who took it seven times, and she is so motivating and inspirational. Um yeah. And then I'll be teaching, leading the class, so be in the, the um, chat, and we're so excited because, honestly, like, guys, when I joined Study Notes ABA, I was, like, really not motivated to actually enjoy this stuff. I was just like, I have to study it. I have to learn it. I didn't really understand any of the concepts other than what they taught me in school, which did not actually help me learn it. I just had to memorize it. And then I met Leah and Jen, and I was like, oh, I learned it. I get it now. Like, now I understand it. So it's going to be really fun. I'm so blessed and happy that they're letting me teach, and we're going to have a fucking blast. You heard that. F-bombs welcome. Um, yeah. Blessed and F-bombs. Here we go. Um, next. Um, audio sources from Cougar Book. Are there any? No, but there's an audio source from Casey and myself. Tune into Behavior Bitches podcast. You will be learning while hearing about real life examples. How much dating sucks. How you could change different behaviors. Why your child is such a fucking asshole. Leah, I have the best interviewee. My friend has a kid. She has two kids under um, three. And she is a funny bitch. So she's coming on the show. Okay, I love it. Amazing. So anyways, guys, we have a lot of cool stuff at Study Notes ABA. It's fun. You'll have a community of people who legit want to help you. Yeah. If y'all ever want help teaching when I pass, let me know. Okay. That's right, Julia. <laughs> love it. We're growing, and we love it. That's how we find anyone who works with us, by the way, is through our classes. I mean, also, this is, like, amazing for networking because you actually get to know people. You, you want to hang out with us? Do we seem that fun? Guys, the podcast will be hopefully launching 
Friday, right? Yeah. Well, well the teaser is already on Spotify if you want to know what it's about. Uh, Leah and I wrote up uh, a pretty good outline. We're really excited to launch the <laughs> Thursday podcast. Okay, amazing. You guys subscribe. Okay, we're recording tomorrow. Casey, you remember this, right? 3 p.m. I told you, did you get my text? I did, um, I updated the um, outline. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to stop recording.